so we are done with my second trip so let's just go beside this panda to see okay. I have it here my spinach everything in here okay. all right Hi everyone, so it's me JM and I'm here in Hong Kong So for those who doesn't know, I've been in Hong Kong since the beginning of the year I just moved here from Malaysia and I'm, I'm now based here So you probably know why we're wearing masks um, Because of the coronavirus that's been prevalent um, since December 2019 and I'm out right now to buy some groceries. So Hong Kong is actually not in a lock lockdown because um, their numbers are quite low comparing to the other uh, Southeast Asian countries. So I'm going to the grocery and I'm just walking to the it's not the nearest grocery to my place because there's a nearer one, but I'm just going to a grocery that has uh, a nearby Filipino store as well so I could buy some some st Filipino stuff okay so just a few tips as well um, I learned this from a friend um, actually um, the husband of my friend wherein whenever he goes for a grocery he brings out a paper so this paper is actually a list so rather than um, writing it down or jotting it down on your phone he has um, he prefers to actually write it in a paper uh, so that it lessens the amount of time or uh, the number of times that he looks at his phone and at the same time once he's done with the grocery and he got things done and he bought all the things he can just simply throw so it's very hygienic <laughs> yeah so now Let's go to the grocery! So this is the usual park that I run into um, but unfortunately they don't allow people to run at this uh, moment because of the virus so yeah this is the George V Memorial Park if I'm not mistaken allowed not only for takeouts but also for dine-ins um, but they are uh, expected to practice social distancing they're also uh, advised to cut down 50% of their manpower so usually people would rather opt for delivery or simply takeouts so for me I'm gonna be buying my grocery So we're now here in Sayangfun area where I'm going first to a Filipino store called Quezon Pinoy. Let's buy our stuff now. We really have a lot of stuff in here so I'll see what I'm gonna buy. I actually like the sisig. The sisig sisig of um, pure foods. I'm gonna buy that. I'm looking for their soup as well. The Noor soup. Let me find out. Okay, so we're done with the Filipino store and I'm off to um, another um, grocery or supermarket called Marketplace. So this is an upscale grocery. I won't be buying every stuff in here but I'll just try to see what's what's good in here so I do buy my local produce in here so for my salad you have this one the kale oh, these are all on sale but usually if you can see they're already like starting to go yellow that's why it's it's on sale Okay. 
so I think I'm gonna make some sinigang here but I couldn't find any Hong Kong so I will just go with this spinach let's go here I'm still so Philippine so this goes here cider vinegar also in the Filipino supermarket and it cost 40 um, Hong Kong dollar but here it cost 49 so we were able to save huh see Toya And this is about 70, 68.9 while the pistachios is only 59 so I'll probably get this one of course because there's shells it's gonna be lesser than, than that but I'm just gonna buy this one stupid me again I'm getting the, the second one <laughs> so this is what I just bought um, spinach um, the pork, the shrimp, and my pistachios. Because it's uphill, they do also have escalators on the side. But I'm panting right now. <laughs> because I'm trying to walk on the pavement. So now we're at the uh, Thaing Pun MTR station. And we're going to a last stop, which is welcome. if you just want to like have some snacks so these are what I bought so far I got this pork and chive dumplings um, cream cheese tomato broccoli um, bacon and everything okay so that actually ends uh, this video on my trip to the grocery and what I actually bought I'm holding this eggs because I'm afraid it might break if I put it in the bag. I am walking back to my condominium 
and I'll be locking myself up again. So to you guys out there, always make sure to wash your hands properly. Um, use alcohol if you can't wash your hands. And at the same time, pray and stay, stay safe everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.